Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Indizor Education. Um, I have uh, explained basically the concept of um, partial uh, derivative for a function of two arguments. Well, we primarily will con con uh, consider the functions of two arguments, although the theory actually, actually is very easily ex extended to functions of multiple variables. But let's talk about functions of two arguments. So. Um, we have explained the theory behind it, behind this concept, um, and uh, I would like to basically exemplify it with a few very, very easy examples. Um, now, I do suggest you to actually do it yourself first, before even listening to whatever I'm saying, and then check the answers. It's uh, on the website, it's on unizor.com, that's where the whole course actually is located. Um, so, every lecture has notes, and uh, all these problems are in the notes, so do it yourself. Um, there are answers to each of the six problems uh, in the notes, and then you know check check if you are right. Okay, now I will do exactly the same, and uh, if you for whatever reason uh, fail to get the same answers, well, let's just you know listen to the lecture and see what happens. All right. Uh, just one small comment which I usually say in the very beginning. This course is presented on unizor.com. It's for uh, teenagers and uh, high school students um, who would like to um, enhance their knowledge in mathematics and uh, develop creativity, analytical thinking, logic, etc. <coughs> All right, so the problems. All these problems are, okay, let's take derivatives. Now, all the functions are functions of two arguments, so I will take two derivatives, function by one argument and then function by another argument. Okay, so let's do it. It's really a very quick thing. Number one, function is square root of xy. Now, I'm interested in partial derivative by x. Now, what does it mean to take partial derivative by x? It means assume that y is actually a constant which makes this the function of one argument which is x and y is a constant right and then we know how to uh, take derivative of this function um, this is basically the same as square root of x times constant right so first we uh, use the chain rule first is outer function is square root uh, which is something in the power of one half and this is the power function, which means our derivative is the power, which is one half, times whatever is under the square root will be in the power of one half minus one, which is minus one half, which means it will be one over one over x y. And then we will, according to the chain rule, we will go into uh, the function under the square root, which is x times constant, and derivative of this is equal to this particular constant, right? Which is y. So the whole thing is y divided by 2 square root of xy. Now, similarly, let's take the partial derivative by y. That means we assume that x is a constant. And then, basically, all these uh, considerations are exactly the same. So it's square root of some constant times y. So that would be 1 half, 1 over 1 over xy, which is xy to the power of minus 1 half, right? Times derivative of the inner function, which is, since y is a variable and x is a constant, so derivative by y would be x. So the whole answer is x divided by 2 square root of xy. That's it. Very simple. What's most important when you're taking derivatives, um, partial derivatives, you, you have to really know exactly which is your variable and which is the constant. So in this case, we, whenever we are differentiating by x, we assume that the y is constant. And whenever we are differentiating by y, we assume that x is constant. And by the way, if it's a function of n arguments, and we are 
trying to make a partial derivative by one of them, we assume that all others are constant. So we are always dealing with a function of one argument. In this case, argument is x. In this case, argument is y. This is the argument by which we are differentiating. And all other arguments are just constant. You have to pay attention to them in as much as you pay attention to different constants. Next. e to the power of x, y. Okay, so again, differentiating by x gives me what? y is a constant. So we have again a uh, uh, composition of two functions. Inner function is some kind of a constant, y multiplied by x. Outer function is e to the power of something. So first we are differentiating the outer function, which is e to the power of a x y, right? Because the, the derivative of e to some power is e to that some power. Now we are multiplying by the derivative of the inner function. Now inner function is uh, x which is variable times y which is a constant and that's why when, whenever we are uh, uh, differentiating by x it's just a constant y. So this is the answer. And whenever we are differentiating by y, it's kind of symmetrical. We start from the same thing, the derivative of the outer function times derivative of the inner function. y is a variable, x is a constant in this case, right? So the derivative is x. So these are two derivatives, partial derivatives. Next. Okay, number one, differentiating by x. So y is a constant. So it's like 1 over x squared plus 1, or 1 over x squared plus 25, or whatever else. Now, the derivative is, well, first, since it's something to the power of minus 1, right? It's x squared plus y squared to the power of minus 1. So derivative of the power function is, we have to put minus 1 times uh, power minus 1, right? So power was minus 1, so it will be minus 2. So it will be 1 over x squared plus y squared square, right? That's what power minus 2 means. And then, since again we are applying the chain rule, derivative of the inner function, inner function is x squared plus y squared. y is a constant, so we can differentiate without it because uh, derivative is zero. So we have only derivative of uh, x squared, which is 2x. So it's 2x. So the whole thing is minus 2x divided by x squared plus y squared square. Now, differentiating by y, well, I'm sure you understand this is a completely symmetrical kind of things, and the result would be very similar to this, except it would be y, y instead of x squared plus y squared square, right? Because the beginning will be the same, and at the end we have to multiply by the uh, derivative of y square, which is 2y. That's it. You see, these are re re relatively easy um, um, exercises, because if you know how to differentiate function of one argument, you automatically know how to differentiate function of multiple uh, arguments partially, because Whenever you're differentiating partially, you just have only one argument anyway, and all others are constants. So these are just exercises. Sine x divided by y square. Okay.
partial uh, derivative by x. So x is a variable, y is constant. So that basically means that y as a constant goes outside and then we will multiply by uh, derivative of the sine which is cosine of x. Cosine x divided by y squared. Now, derivative by y, you see now it's not symmetrical at all, right? So right now we have to do separately one from another. Okay, now, differentiating by y. That means that the sine x is actually a constant, right? So, as a constant, it goes out times the derivative of y uh, of 1 over y squared, or y to the power of minus 2, which means it would be minus 2, y to the power of minus 3, right? So, that's what it is. So, it's minus 2 sine x divided by one cube, y cube. Next. Arc tangent of x square root of y. Okay. Again, this is non-symmetrical kind of things. All right, differentiating by x. So we have a composition of two functions. Outer function is arctangent. Inner function is a constant. Square root of y is a constant, right? Multiplied by variable x. Okay, so the chain rule first derivative of arc tangent is 1 divided by 1 plus this square which is x square y so if you don't remember again I'm just saying arc tangent of let's say t derivative is 1 over 1 plus t square so I just happen to remember it. How to derive it? We did it when we were considering uh, derivatives of regular functions. Okay, times derivative of the inner function. So what's the inner function? It's a multiplication of a constant by x. So if we want to have a derivative y, uh, x is just this constant. That's it. Now, by y, it's slightly different. Well, first of all, we have to start from the same thing. We start from the derivative of arctangent, which is 1 over, oops, 1 plus argument square. Now we have to multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. x is a constant and y is the variable, right, in this case. So x goes to the top. It's just a multiplier. And derivative of square root of, uh, of y, this is 2 uh, square root of y in the denominator, right? Again, square root of y derivative is 1 over 2 square root of y. So that's the answer. And my last problem, which is again relatively easy as everything else. You see, whenever you're doing differentiation, you don't have any kind of a um, creativity thing as you do have with integrals. So these can be done relatively mechanically as long as you understand and remember regular derivatives of regular functions. So my last example is this. 
Now, dif uh, differentiation of uh, z by x. Now, if x is a variable and y is a constant, well, if you remember, we use we used to use a to the power of x, but that's exactly the same thing. A is a constant or y is a constant, just different letter. And the derivative of this exponential function is itself times logarithm of uh, the base of my exponent. Now, if you want to differentiate by y, now x is a constant. Now it's just a power function. Since x is a constant, y is variable, it's a power function. Power function is, you have the power x times power minus y. That's it. So all these examples are just to emphasize how easy it is to deal with um, partial derivatives. It's exactly the same as with uh, derivatives of regular functions of one argument. Again, uh, I do suggest you to, to do all these exercises yourself. Um, all these ex uh, examples are on unisor.com and check if you had the same answers as presented on the website. Other than that, we have finished. Thank you very much and good luck.